Hey guys, Brian with PS4 Trophies showing you how to unlock the medieval armor in Assassin's Creed Unity. Now this will earn you the from the past trophy. Now what you need to do is come down to the armor room and uh, you have to unlock the three doors. You unlock the three doors by completing the Nostradamus Enigma side quests. So check my channel, check the description and I can show you all the locations of all 18 of those quest items that you need to get. But when you come down to the armor room, you interact with that center little council and it'll open up the right door. Now this one will open up once you've completed four of the Nostradamus Enigma sets. So it'll reveal a little puzzle there. And then if you have found uh, completed 10 of them, you'll unlock another door, which will be on the left. And then you'll unlock the final door, which is on the opposite side when you have uh, completed all 18 of them. Now in the cage in the center is the medieval suit. So in order to get that, you need to hit three switches, one behind each of these doors. And as soon as you hit the third switch, just go down back into the center here and pick up that new suit of yours. So the first puzzle, uh, you got to drop down here and you're going to have these uh, kind of switches here. So I'm going to interact with the one with the kind of letter M underneath it or right in front of it on the ground. And then I'm going to turn this two times. And you can see the symbol there. That's the one you're looking for. Again, I'm in front of the one kind of looks like an M on the ground. Now I'm going to just go clockwise around this and turn this one just a single time, just once. Got that kind of symbol there. That, it looks like a branch. Uh, and this one in front of the wavy lines, I'm going to turn three times. So we'll interact with this three times. And well, that was only two, wasn't it? Uh, let's go back and do that a third time. And then the last one that we need to interact with, we just need to, I believe, push it only twice. Um, although the uh, thing will open up, just, so just keep pushing this. I think it is only twice, though. There we go. And it's going to open up a gate at the top. Now we got to do a bunch of platforming and this platforming is a bitch. Uh, for some reason, just the control of the character gets all kind of wonky and, and it's just kind of horse shit. But jump up here and then climb around and then see if you can get to this wall. There's only one path you can take. So follow this path. Now here you're supposed to jump behind you. So you hold R2 and then press X. It doesn't really work quite as well as it it's supposed to unfortunately and I'm trying to do it again I found by turning my camera and looking at where I need to jump to sometimes works a little better I don't know if that actually had any real benefit to it but you're just supposed to hold R2 and then press X while you have that held down so we're gonna have to drop down one here and then do another back jump And we are almost there. And as you can see, I'm having a little difficult time trying to get to, I don't know, to jump to where I need him to jump. So again, hold R2 and then press X, supposedly. It's a little suspect, the controls in this section. Alright, so you interact with this switch and it'll open up the gate. And now we're going to go to the second set of puzzles. And this is actually going to be an easy one. This is going to be, let's see if we can get our bearings here. Now here is this entry point. All right, so this one is on the left door. This one required you to complete uh, 10 Enigma puzzles. And this one's simple. You just have three pedestals and you interact with the uh, left one three times. And it's going to align these planets. All right, now we're gonna interact with the center uh, pedestal here once. And then we're gonna interact with this far right one three times. All right, so that's going to uh, reveal the interaction switch for us. 
And that'll be the third challenge in the armor room here that we've completed. The second one, we're going to go do the third one. Now, this third one's a bitch. You're going to have little platforming uh, things. You're going to have to platform down a hallway, and there's going to be gas coming out of the wall. You can't drop to the ground either. So you're just going to have to kind of be careful, watch out for the gas. And uh, at the very end of this, unfortunately, my uh, video editor kind of had some technical difficulties, but I was right by the uh, the switch, so it's not a big deal. All right, so we're gonna jump here, watch the for the gas. And the tricky one is right up here. You're gonna have to do another one of those back jump things. And I failed probably about six or seven times because I couldn't get my character to jump over there fast enough. All right, now from here, it's simple, just continue making your way along the wall. Now, unfortunately, uh, my capture card craps out right about here, so I couldn't film the rest of it. However, real quick, uh, just hit the switch, and the, the uh, outfit will be revealed, and you just go pick it up. So you don't need to see anything. So that's it, guys. Thank you for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe.